An 18-year-old man is dead after falling from the tallest building at Bemidji State University, Tamarack Hall. Reporter Sherelle Moore is live from our studio tonight to tell us what happened. Sherelle? Thank you, Dennis. The circumstances surrounding the death are still unclear, but police say an investigation is ongoing and their primary goal right now is retracing the victim's final moments. This is an investigation that's ongoing. Um, there, there could be some criminal uh, aspects out of this um, at some point, but we're trying to figure out where that may, if it does, in fact, lie. The incident happened early Sunday morning, just after midnight. Police were called to Bemidji State University's Tamarack Hall after reports that a man was lying on the ground bleeding. Police tried to perform life-saving efforts at the scene, but were unsuccessful. We do have some evidence that shows us that he fell from a, from a relatively high source, and right now we're just trying to figure out put those pieces together um, to retrace his last steps. Police say the man was not a student at the university. Today, Bemidji State University made counselors available to students and staff. The university also has plans to create a healing event in response to the tragedy. We'll be stressing to our student population again the importance of remaining safe and watching out for one another over homecoming. This is a, a message that we send on an annual basis and th this message will come directly from me this year um, because we do want to stress um, the importance of safety, of watching out for one another, the importance of, of not engaging in unsafe behaviors um, such as underage drinking and the like. Many students say they heard about the incident through an email from Dr. Hensrud on Sunday morning. For students living in Tamarack, Waking up to police lights outside of their dorms was tough. We were like on a soft lockdown, I believe. Everyone had to stay in their dorms and stuff, so it was, it was pretty, pretty scary around here. And on my floor, there was, you know, girls out in the um, area just you know, crying. I think everyone's kind of down from what I, kind of what I've observed. I think people are still kind of talking about it, and there's a lot of kind of rumor and speculation still going around because no one really knows what absolutely happened yet and so there there is a lot of kind of speculation. And Bemidji State University says they have plans to bring in a third counselor to help deal with the impact of the tragedy. Dennis back to you. Thank you Sherelle for that live report from our studio tonight. The family of the victim has been notified although his name is still being withheld pending further investigation. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.